Hey everybody, welcome back to my war game. Somebody suggested, with some monetary incentives, wink wink, for me to play Red Dragons, no, not Red Dragons Marines, a Marine deck. And then I asked which Marine deck, and they said South Africa or Red Dragons, and I'm not gonna play South Africa Marines. I didn't even know they had a Marine spec available to them, but it's it's not looking too, too great. So Red Dragons Marines it is. I think I actually played it the reasonable while ago, like a month or two, because I still had this deck lying around. I adjusted a few things here or there. Um, this is honestly mainly in here, because what else am I going to put in here? I have 8 infantry CVs, which is great, and no ground CV, except for those that are survivable, and I have the activation points left over, so that's why this is in here. Um, I think the most interesting tabs are going to be infantry and air. Uh, infantry, what do we lose here? We lose the Hua Song Zhong, the Igla bus transport. Other than that, unless I'm just forgetting about something, well, that and Shanxi, and well, and the Boateng, so we lose both line infantry squads, which isn't great, but Lu Dui, ever since they got buffed to 15 points, they're not too bad, they're not too bad. And don't forget, we get the infantry vet bonus on... on our whole infantry tabs, we get 12 or 24 elite Lujanui, they're gonna kick hmm? kick kick butt. Um Tangishasho is still amazing. I'm not using all three cards. Yeah, let's change that. I'm actually gonna replace one of those Yak cards. And put in another card of these bad boys. I said it in a recent videos video, I think they're actually kinda busted. Um, so I think it's actually the right call to take two cards of these in the WC. We're gonna be lacking a bit in, in terms of infantry AT, so maybe I should replace one of these with Lucian Dui 90. Might not be a horrible decision, especially since uh, our tank is actually gonna do a lot of infantry killing as well. I didn't ex <laughs> I didn't plan on doing these changes on the fly here, but here we are. Support tab honestly looks just like a normal Red Dragon support. You don't really lose a lot of things. You lose like the coxswain, like some of the heavier artillery pieces. You lose the North Korean mortar, which carries actually a few more rounds, so we have to use a Chinese one. Other than that, support the you know, PM24, the HQs, and PGC80. You lose the PGC95, which and the PGC88, both of which are not too bad, but I usually don't use them anyway. So, yeah. tank type, of course, you lose all the heavier and medium tanks. Uh, CTS though is, is very nice. Regan tab, again, you don't really lose anything meaningful. Vehicle tab, you lose a bunch of stuff, but we still get a WC at least. Helicopter tab, you lose a lot. This is the only helicopter we get access to, in the helicopter tab at least. And transport wise, we get the C9A, right? Um, and the MI8 if you wanted to. And the MI4, I suppose, but eh. Um, actually, surprising that we get the C9A here, but we don't get the C9A helicopters in the helicopter tab. Either way, uh, we do lose, what do we even lose? We lose the J7s, the MiG-21s and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first five planes are still very, very solid though. And then for the remaining two slots, I can choose between, well, two variants of the, I don't even know what plane this is. Is this a Soviet plane or is this a Chinese plane that the North Koreans also use? I have no idea. The A5, the Q5, whichever it is. Um. I chose the Q5 because it is 10 points more, but same availability, and we get 10% ECM. Some better missiles, although our class... Oh, sorry, worse missiles, actually. But also some better time over target. I think it's worth the 10 points. The accuracy on the cluster bombs, not to be underestimated, because if you want to right-click on enemy tanks with the clusters, accuracy is actually important. Still, I think the time over target and the ECM worth more. Then again... Hopefully we don't really need this plane or a whole lot of it. F6C because it's funny. The smart decision probably would be to take the rocket pod plane. But I just honestly those air to air rockets, they're just charming. I don't know why. They're just funny. And other than that, really, I took every plane available. So SG27 SK of course on Elite now. All the planes also get a free vet bonus, so that's cool. And yeah, start a fun rank game, and I shall see you then.
All right, we got. Oh, is it the same player as last time? Hello. Well, last time being the match on Punchball, <laughs> where we won by killing the CB in the base with some BTR 80s. That was pretty darn funny. Um. All right. I think this was also the map where we played Red Dragon Marines last time, just from the other spawn, which is kind of funny. In any case, let's make good use of those tankers, shall we? I wanna drive down here. I will also open with uh, one of these bad boys. They're not gonna kill anything, but maybe they're gonna make our opponent scared a bit for helicopters, because they actually don't realize, oh, what plane is this? Better try to land my helicopter. And of course, I'm just gonna spot helicopters with this. Um, yeah, my plan though is to play wide. I'm gonna send four WCs here, two in Dimitri as well, and two on the left side. CTQ, probably four near the highways, get some cheaper CTQ with that. Get a man pad on the left and in mid. Get some anti gems around as well. And get yeah, let's get some CTSs. Actually, oh, five points short. I can just get rid of this. I should get these for the highway. Do it my way on the highway. All right, let's let's do this. I'm gonna place the CV. Let's place it. In case our opponent is playing Scandi again and immediately tries to snipe the farm, let's maybe place it somewhere. They might also try to go for the obvious CV positions. Like a fun. Okay, you are gonna load there. You're gonna load there. You're gonna know there. You're gonna know there. You're gonna know there. But yes, as you just get there for now. Get a man pad in here. Let's get a man pad in there. ET Actually, CTQ on the left. Change my mind a bit. You stay further back there. Let's get some ET gems just spread around randomly. Let's even try to get you in there immediately. Should be everything, I think. As you can see, you see nothing. There we go. That's the. That's a Yugoslavian. Some Red Four helicopter. Is it a Yugoslav? What is this helicopter? It's like a very old, odd helicopter, I think, isn't it? Is it just an MI1? This could have been an MI1 as well. I'm not sure. Oh, might have been just an MI1. Either way, it looks like we're playing against Red Dragons or Blue Mix. Eh, sorry, Red Mixed. Given that we haven't seen anything else, I'm thinking Red Mix. Mech or Armored, because if this is the first thing we see, it's usually Recon Transport. And if everything else is tracked, it's a J8. So we're playing against... Oh no, this is not full time, but this is also... Looks like Red Dragons Mech? This is Megas might be really good for us, because Red Dragons make isn't particularly great and those tankers are gonna have a field day. Okay, that's the push there. Um. Five. 
Oh, careful, careful. Did this. Just spam more of these. Careful that the dead M1 wants to spot us. Nice. Change 7? I think it's a change 7. But too bad I don't really have a lot of high value single targets. Well, I, I do have the uh, ETQ, I suppose, which is high value, maybe an exaggeration, but certainly not low value. I'm not supposed to go there, actually. These WC tank charge are did have really strong. That's a PGT-88, I think. It's gonna take a bit to kill our... It's worth struck, honestly, actually. I'm gonna say it actually takes a while, but... Maybe range scaling and all that. It's usually not that strong of an... Anti-tank unit. Am I spotted? No. <laughs> no thanks are fun. Oh, those are spotted. Oh, well. These bad boys, some supplies. Those. Probably split those up. I don't want a single chase J7H to kill uh, five guys. And I'm not talking about the fast food J Neo. <laughs> I don't even know if they exist in Germany. I think they do in select places. I shot? It was a I'm probably dead. So it's dead? Nice. So it's dead. Got the uh, HQ-61. We can do at least something against those planes. The tankers are ridiculous, honestly. Well, specifically in the with the WC. The WC is doing heavy lifting here as well. You know, if it, if it wasn't... Oh, wow. If the rest of the deck looked different, and if you could get them with 10-point line infantry, like base Shanshi, tank the WC551 would actually rival the KT. In terms of how strong it is. But because, of course, the rest of the deck is kind of a layout down, and you don't get them in 10-point line infantry, etc, etc. And, of course, it being a prototype, so you don't get it in other decks, it's just holding it a bit back, and it's probably for the best. Start ticking. Of course, the nice thing about a deck like this, or, you know, composition like this, is there's not really a single unit that's just gonna put you, you know, just stop you, right? Or just say kill you, right? If I had, if I was playing with super heavies, right, killing super heavy would just be such a huge deal to me. Okay, I have to wait until those are gone before I can really. See, those buildings might block line of sight here. I'm just worried about those Chan Miles shooting at my HQ. I should get a WC. I could have. I really had hoped those buildings plus the forest would be enough to not be in line of sight there. Still, yeah, I was about to say there's still the PGC 88 somewhere. Let's get one of these. H7 might just snipe it. But it would be fun to make some good use out of that unit. They're also relatively hard to supply those ammunitions. They're elite. I mean, they come on a veteran, I have them upvetted, which I maybe shouldn't. It'd be funny. Okay, be careful. You don't have a lot of armor. You might actually be dead here. Oh, okay, one of them wasn't in the line of sight, thankfully. This is... Oh my god. Actually kind of ridiculous. Oh, 
fight around now that we're getting like healer cheese. Oh, hello. Oh, there's still incoming stuff. Hello, I'm stuck. Um, where's the... Oh, I was about to say, where's the 50 cal coming from? Uh, WC's right there. Oh, this KVVT can actually do something there. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. Where did they come from even? Like, down there? Oh, I just thought I pressed stop. I didn't. They're not empty! <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. I was about to say, it almost feels like they're not empty. Alright, that's, that's actually pretty funny. If I drive down there, I might actually survive. I go down there, break down of sight. I lost the WC, but that's only 80 points. If you over, get you back. But you know what? They see all that and then bum rush across the road into feeder. Maybe do something around these parts here as well. Oh, wait, what? How did my WC? My, my, my 4 die? Did not... Wait, what? How did the MI4 die there? Oh, there's a classic show! Okay, that's funny. Oh my god, that's actually so funny. And there's A as well. Okay, that's hilarious, actually. I gotta be really careful here. It's looking a lot worse than I thought it would. Mm, how do I do this? Getting pushed up here. Did it just be five? Are there any GMs in there? I mean, the, the, they might have come. The eighty GMs might be in the crossing chunks. That would explain it. Did not die because I think. Oh, I might actually. Oh, I did. Yeah, crossing chunk there. Oh, this is far from over. Wow, I really... Did I just drive down there and I didn't see that? That very much might be the case if I'm too deep in here, I won't see stuff driving on there. Oh, come on. Why are you driving? Why are you... Come on. Why do you not take this road here? Oh, I, I bet you can't actually use the fast move speed up here. I bet that's why. Because roads, like bridges across roads, actually work very weird in Wargame. That is probably why. If I had to guess. Stuck there. Well, at least it appears to be a lot of stuff. On oh, side shot? Or not? Or yes? Or not? Or yes? Or no? Sure, up with it, I think. Oh, 
I'm so mad about this bridge, but I think that's why. I think that's... There we go, at least we got one hit in there. Something in my base. That's not very nice of you. Oh no, you're not supposed to... Yeah. Didn't mean to tell it to attack me. Some of our CV, it might have been spotted there. A fob definitely is, but then again, that deck is gonna be horrible at fob sniping, I can already tell you that. Oh wow. You have to wait for that to finish. I'm too scared to move. That's Coxon, alright. Hmm, <laughs> trying to get a reset. Oh, is there a CV trying to move in? That's horrible. Damn plane. Yeah, that's an infantry CV. I'm surprised it's not unloaded yet. This probably was the wrong decision. But I can't wait. I don't have a V5. I don't have the points for a V5. You're still alive? But oh, that would have been such a good hit, though. I'd have been also just a fake out with that uh, transport there. In which case was very, very. It was not a fake out. Come on, oh, there's no cliff to move up there. Get into the town, please. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, it is an infantry CV. Had my cluster been on point, I would have actually killed it because he unloaded it so late. Is actually doing some good work. I'm surprised. It's actually really funny. Now I wish I had the rocket boat plane, of course. Drive around with one of these around the map. You should. I need a B5 though. I need to bomb this with a B5. Page 7.
They have a really good time on targets. Really, I'm, I lost this. I'm losing this too dead. Funny. We get some beam 24s, but I'm not sure if that's the right call. I think I need a V5 and get some planes going. I also have to be careful about this here, actually. Realize could something just drive down there any second? Oh, you, you're running out of fuel, that's bad. You got ordered, well, let's be five. Might be overkill because my Luger and Duya are moving up, but. There's no such kill, it's so overkill. You actually missed. Okay. You're still alive. Is the CV maybe in there? Was the was it just a fake out with the uh, transport and such? Could have been. Actually, it's put you there. That's not too bad. Um. There it is. It was such such actually fake out. Nice. Pretty smart. In train h7 j8 and i don't know what the third plane is base defense type of uh, can the tank please get line of sight on there that'd be great hello two j8s okay we can actually move up there because there's the JH7. Okay, there it is. One reload cycle and we move on. Is that J8s, not JH7s? I don't have the ADGM planes. No. What do we spawn first? There's surely there's gonna be a trap there, so let's start with this. So, what if they even kill with our 27SK? Go. There's a high in there, so PGC 8 is like, gonna do just fine. I expected something uh, vehicle based, so that's why I got the illusion to 90 for the 20 RPM AT. That's exactly what I wanted with this ATQ, actually spot this. But I shouldn't do this. The J7 has to be ready already by now. You can snipe this J8, that'd be great. Let's wait until they evac and then send out. What's actually what's the air detection? It's very good. It can actually spot us pretty well. Send this out. Because if I might have just now sent out the J7 to snipe this uh it's see that's what I thought. Q5D as well. Actually, go for the Q5. It can indirect fire. H7 cannot. Back, back, back. Oh, why did you back around this way? Okay, good. H7 had a horrible turn radius, so I expected it to not be able to get in there. Okay, it's actually still out, so let's not send this out just yet. By now the J8s should be out as well. Alright, there's uh Tanker Shasho in there. Hey, that's whatever. Hey. Actually. You have actually nice. I would like to save this squad. Oh wow, that's unlucky. Bomb this. Let's try to cluster it again. Oh, you're spotted there, that's not good. I 
don't know where the Q terminal went. Might have been too early of an evac. Oh, that was really bad actually for me. From me. And potentially for me as well. Uh, it seems like the SC-27 is getting evac. That's where it is. <laughs> Next. Sure, actually. My A7 is already. already. Oh, wow, that survived. That, okay, that was probably my but then. Yeah, I was about to be a bit mad that the plane was still alive. The Shanshi, okay. Actually, you have to be careful about stuff snapping or reinforcements. Probably try to counter tick or stop the tick. Their opponent is quite a bit ahead in points. Yeah, that probably a uh, Hwasong Chong if I had to guess. The best. Be careful. Actually, just UCS based defenses. We saw there was. Some stuff depending there, and let's not get fancy with it. Actually going for my F6, okay. Thanks. Which is the 88, it's not gonna do much. Oh, that's not cool at all. Oh my god, I just got so lucky. Holy. I got so lucky with this BTR-60. It was the Shanshi squad, presumably. You have line of sight on there, you do. Looking still pretty bad for us, actually. After what appeared to be a very good start. But sometimes... Get in there. there. Bo Chung Su. Or Chanchi Bo Chung Su at the end of the day. Both have RPG 7, so it wouldn't have made a difference. I'm unsure right now how to properly push against this, but I think I need planes. I used, I lost my other SC-27 already, so I can't snap this. We also are on a timer. But I think I need to win by holding this and counter capping that. Let's forget about Dimitri. So let's secure this and just deal with this whole John Maho push thing in my butt. That's it's happening down there. And we need we need this new CV ASAP as well to undercap this. Come on, 27SK repair already. <laughs> Where did those Chama House go? I'm too scared to cross this open field here because if they get caught out they're just dead, right? That's where they are. 
I, where were the turrets facing that they needed so long to aim? Going the hell out of me right now. Like you saw how long they were aiming? It must have been because the turrets were facing a different way for some reason. That some reason is usually like a unit being spotted somewhere. That's, that tank was fast moving there. It was showing its rear towards me. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 don't be reversed there. Because this thing is spotted. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. Okay, G7 is ready soon. Maybe we have to push into this after all, but as soon as 175 is ready. There's the J8. It's the last J8. Try to be greedy with that J8. Maybe actually this works. If Q5s and J7, the H7, not gonna do too much. And let's get some man pads on the field. Tank. A lot of hinds actually, holy. <laughs> Turbine failure, really? That's such an unlucky crit to get. Where's the JH7? Oh, what are you doing, JH? Evac bingo. Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. You're out of missiles because three eyes is just too much. That is so unfortunate. Not unlucky, just well, what's the difference? But like, it is on me. Um, and you didn't die, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if I'm loading here is the right, but maybe if I can just get. Right, you should be dead, right? Yeah, I lost all my units here as well, but at least I took that with me. Everyone, yeah, I have to watch for those reinforcements, man. Lost it. I lost the 27 SK? Oof. Oh, you're full HP still. I was hoping. F. Look worse. This is honestly such a good match, though. Nah, we we're not coming back from this, I think. Might have be five, right? Hmm. Hmm, I'm starting to turn 30 points, I don't know what to do. I think this is just GG. Analysis paralysis. Seven minutes to points. I, and I can't really snipe. I don't have neither helicopters nor bombers left. I mean, I have a V5 left and cluster planes, but nothing to snipe well with. Let's put it that way. I think it's just Jover. But like, I this, this is such a good match. We are heading KD, but at the end of the day, that's not all that matters. And it's, you know, 200 points, it's whatever. I was really getting cocky. I really thought that, oh, that opener went so well. How are we gonna lose this? And this is how. We need to watch it replay, though. That was such a good match. Honestly, just like last time, that player is just doing something wacky, and I'm all here for it. Because sometimes, people like me, just so used to seeing the same thing over and over again. They just need to be called out by these wacky strats. So 
if I had to guess, I mean, some there might have also been like a unit that just dropped on here, right? The Recon Squad that it got into my base might have been. But I guess, uh, if I had to guess, stuff just drove around here. And I had stuff like up to this point, so it didn't have proper line of sight there. Because to spot here, you need stuff here or here, right? Stuff here gets blocked from this forest, right? All this just gets blocked from this forest, so... I think that's what happened. And what could have stopped this? Just one or two units here, basically, right? And sometimes, not always, because some, you know, if it doesn't happen to you, just stop doing it, of course. Sometimes I, I specifically uh, get something here to stop th something like this, right? Because a single or two autocannons would it would have stopped this probably, or at least slowed it down massively. That that never that wouldn't have worked. Are you telling me they just drove down the middle? No. Oh, they all. <gasps> wow, he actually went the extra mile. Damn. I guess you know, just gotta appreciate dedication. Or a Rican Hilo as well, right? Just send something here. With the supply trunk. Yeah, I guess I, I did have a 5-pointer here that would have signed saying it, huh? I mean, I had an early warning because of the PTR 60 PB at the end of the day. And, I, and I, I just just thought they were empty, right? But part of me also thought, the way they were driving, maybe they're not. Oh, wow. It is a bit lucky, I guess, that if you just... I mean, they came in a bit later, so, you know... It, I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. If, if the opponent just had waited a bit and resupplied, they would have arrived like half a minute later, and it would have been the same thing. But they almost, they almost got screwed up by this. By the fuel. Because if they had run out of fuel in here, and the PDR-60 people would have driven, driven into them... It could have ended completely different because then the infantry had to unload and it would have spotted them. Or my BJ 60 PP would have killed the transports. And if the transports were dead and the infantry came out, I would have seen, oh shit, there's infantry, right? Almost, almost, you know, <laughs> those small things, that's could have made all the difference. But it didn't. Again, the opponent could have just prevented this in the first place had it happened. If they just stopped here for two seconds, right? And then this cost me a lot of resources, a lot of micro that I collapsed in mid as well. It was honestly just very well played. I'm still annoyed by this whole rich shenanigan. Let's let's double check this actually. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um like something with the Commonwealth. Something with a something that has very low off-road speed. So that you really notice the difference between uh, what's it called? Yeah, fast move speed and non-fast move, like the aviary, right? Because I'm pretty sure the pathfinding or nothing, the game or pathfinding or whatever doesn't really know that these are on separate elevations. So to not, not mess up with path, pathfinding when you try to fast move, this just doesn't count as a roll. Something along those lines, I think is what happened. Right, with bridges across water you don't have that. But I think that's what was going on. Because I remember there being several bugs with these bridges, simply due to the fact that they were crossing roads. Because I'm pretty sure there's very few, if any, other uh, instances of the game. Alright, let's see. This is clearly fast moving. Did you see this? I guess because it's so slow, it doesn't want to take the. Yeah, okay. I guess it's just fast move onto the bridge then, huh? Or it's, it's trying to go under the bridge. Did you see? It's fast move here. Right, I think I think now it's trying to cross the bridge. I, I told you to pass move there. Me, me, okay, okay, okay. Right, watch the speed. 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? You're gonna drive under the... Never mind. Let's take something with a decent off-road speed then, I guess. Like a Scorpio. Do you have a Scorpio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Never mind. I, I guess you can't actually tell it to go on, onto the bridge, can you? It's gonna go under there as well? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, but you see how slow it is, right? It's not fast from speed. Hold on, let's get, go a bit further. Let's force it to be onto the... Wait, what? As soon as you get past this point, it seems like it doesn't recognize the bridge as like... Right? I right click onto the bridge. Yeah, it wants to go under it. Same here. That is so weird. Right, scimitar. I didn't... Okay, before anyone says something, right? I don't... I'm not doing this because I think, oh, it cost me the game, right? There were two channels that would just stop this entire thing. But I was just slightly infuriated that they didn't take this. Right, you have 70 kmh off-road speed. So you might... This might still be the fastest way for you. Apparently it isn't. Oh my god, I'm actually... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this is definitely not fast for speed, right? Look look at the speed, right? Then look at the speed. I know this is very fast, let's just get wait until it's the edge there. And this is also clear, like, you can see the speed difference, right? If they were both actually using fast move speed, they would have both the 110 km h But they don't. And I watched them speed up as soon as they like, start... Yep. Speeding up. Now it's pulling away from the scimitar. And now it's going full speed. Okay, I guess full speed, non-full speed difference with the scimitar isn't as obvious. But yeah, man, these bridges are weird. But yeah, like, see, if I tell it too fast to move here, is it gonna go onto the bridge? Yep, it is, right? We're gonna try to, oh, maybe it is. Is it just gonna try to get up there? I'm not trying to get onto the bridge, but as soon as I try to click, this is, I never notice this. I mean, to be fair, when do you ever want something to just sit on the bridge, right? Exactly, never. Because you can't move anywhere other than left and right. <laughs> This is so odd. Either way though, I think this was a very good match. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.